up, Bears fans? And welcome back to our Sinus College Sports Network. I'm your co-host, James Schuld. And I'm your co-host, Steve Weissman. With spring sports heating up, we have plenty of action-packed content for you today. On today's episode, we'll recap each of the sports teams who competed this past week and preview the upcoming games. Today's featured segments include Coach Exeter of the baseball team and his 400th career win. We also have a sit-down interview with Lars Jesperson and a special guest, Aaron Diamond, hosting our Top Plays segment. All right, let's go. We present to you, Sports On Name. The men's tennis team had a dominant performance this past Monday at Lebanon Valley, stomping out the Flying Dutchman. Winning eight out of nine matches, the Bears proved their depth in their lineup and showed tenacity. Sophomore Darby Rogers and Rob Ritchie both earned their wins in the third and fourth singles matches in 10-point tie breaks. Winning this out-of-conference match definitely adds to the team's confidence and just builds on their impressive season, bringing their record to 4-2. and two. The women's tennis team also traveled to face off against the Lebanon Valley Flying Dutchman. The Bears had a fight on their hands, winning two out of three of the doubles matches, then won the first four singles matches. Although Maddie Russell and Allie Armour fell in their match 8-7 with a 5-7 tiebreak, they bounced back winning their singles matches. Allie played well, winning 6-3 and 6-4, with Maddie battling to win with a 7-6 win with tiebreaks in both matches. The Bears had their match canceled this past Thursday, but with this victory, their winning streak now grows to three heading into this week. The baseball team faced off against Albright and earned their seventh win of the season at Kelkner Field 9-4. Junior Casey Murphy pitched lights out, recording 14 strikeouts and only allowed two runs, earning him his second victory of the year. Dylan Runsdorf continued his success in the matchup, having two RBIs. The highlight of the game was Coach Exeter earning his 400th career win in the victory, just putting the icing on the win. The team's meeting with Rosemont from Thursday has been postponed. The softball team played in two double headers this week on Tuesday and Thursday, winning both of their first showings at Gwynedd Mercy, winning 6-3 and 9-6. Putting on a hitting clinic, the Bears had nine hits in their first matchup and 12 hits in their second. First year, Stephanie Wickman was the saving grace for the Bears, getting wins on the mound after coming in to support her teammates in both games. With seven and two-thirds inning pitched between both matchups, we can see that the coaching staff might have found another trustworthy pitcher to lead their defense this year. This past Wednesday, the women's lacrosse team had a showdown on Patterson Field, defeating a tough opponent in Susquehanna 16-14. Showing up all over the field, the Bears bested the Riverhawks in shots with 30 and also won more ground balls at 23-9. Shining in another performance, both Grace Lynch and Maeve Leonzi carried this team to victory with amazing effort on offense. Maeve had another stellar performance, scoring four goals on seven shots, five which found the target. Grace put on a shooting clinic taking five shots total, all of which found the target and the back of the net, scoring all five of her own. It's amazing to see the young talent on the lacrosse team shine in such dramatic fashion week after week. The men's golf team traveled to Lebanon Country Club to compete in the LVC Dutchman Invitational this past Monday. The team fought the wind and wet conditions from the rain this past week to place a top four finish out of 11 teams and their second team finishing sixth. The first team was led by junior TJ Stanton and senior John Murray firing 85 and 86 in the tournament followed by fellow senior Luke Godziba shooting 88 in the event. Sophomore Billy Cardino and Evan Coffey led the second team with a 79 from Billy, finishing in solo fifth, and Evan with an 86, finishing tied for 14th out of 52 competitors. Continue to build on this momentum and try and get a win for us guys. Last week, the women's golf team got their first victory of the year at the Eastern Invitational at St. David's Golf Club on Thursday. First year, Kaylin Chen and senior Jessica Lamarca both finished in the top eight of the competitors, with Jess finishing tied for third, and Kaylin came in with a 96, finishing eighth overall. It's nice to see the women's team succeeding so early in their spring season. As mentioned earlier, head baseball coach Stan Exeter racked up his 400th career win this past Tuesday in a 9-4 victory over Albright. The two-time All-Patriot League first baseman from Lafayette started his head coaching career at Arcadia University where he won 181 games, including two conference championships in 2004 and 2006. He then moved into the Centennial Conference at Swarthmore, where his success only continued, winning 86 more games, including three straight 20-win seasons. He then coached the Garnet to the conference playoffs in 2010 for the first time in their school's history. 
Since coming to Ursinus in the 2012 to 13 season, Coach X has won 133 games, including a trip to the conference championship in 2017, which included six all-conference players, and one of which who would go on to receive all-region and all-American honors in 2019. Being a member of the baseball team, I cannot be more proud as a player for such a hard-working person to receive such a miraculous milestone. Congrats, Coach, and best of luck the rest of this season. For our next segment, UCSN's own Aaron Diamond had a sit-down interview with Lars Jesperson of the men's tennis team. Here's what he had to say. What's up, Bears fans? Welcome back to another episode. My name is Aaron Diamond, and I have the pleasure of sitting with Lars Jesperson, class of 2024. He is also, if you haven't known, a tennis star, okay? So, Lars, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Appreciate you coming in. Thank you for your time. So, Lars, um, last week you, you had a great accomplishment. Uh, the Centennial Conference, they, they recognized you to be the player of the week, correct? Yeah, that's right. That's right. So, how, well, tell me what's going on. How does that feel? Yeah, it feels great. Uh, I had a good spring break. Uh, got a, got, I did, did well, went 5-1 and one on spring break. And I guess, uh, I guess I did better than everybody else in the conference. And they're like, he deserves it. So, I mean, it feels great. For sure, for sure. So talk to me about the team. You guys are definitely performing, you know, at elite status and you're surprising the whole conference. Um, so just walk me through that. What is going on on the men's side and the women's side? Yeah, for, for the men, I mean, we're just, we're all sophomores. Pretty much everyone down. We have, we have pretty much uh, all sophomores and then only like one or two upperclassmen. And uh, what, what we're doing pretty much is we're just, everybody's out there trying to prove themselves to the conference. I mean, this is like one of the best conferences in the country for, for tennis and uh, just every match going out there on the men's and women's side trying to prove, prove ourselves to the conference, you know? For sure, for sure. <clears throat> so Lars, talk to me about your style of play. You know, where are you most confident? You know, where do you find yourself mo most comfortable in your matches? Um, just, you know, walk me and the audience through that. Yeah, so uh, I definitely see myself more of as uh, a singles player than a doubles player. Um, I'm getting better at doubles. Um, but singles is where I feel definitely the most comfortable. I'm more of a grinder. I like to wear my opponents out and, uh, and just really just expose their weaknesses on the court. And, uh, and yeah. Watch out. <laughs> uh, last question for you, my boy. Um, walk us through what we have to look forward to for the future of this program and, you know, for the years to come. Yeah, so uh, like I said earlier, we're all just really young. We're all tr out there trying to prove ourselves. And uh, every season, uh, as we go forward and even through this season, you're going to see everyone on the team, me at first singles all the way down, just get better uh, because we're all young and we're all just trying to figure out how to win matches against super tough competition. And uh, you're just going to see everyone, men's and women's side, uh, just really improve uh, as a whole, as a team, as individuals and as tennis players. <laughs> That's perfect. Well, I look forward to seeing it. Well, Bears fans, there you have it. Lars Jesperson in the flesh. Uh, we watch out competition because, ladies and gentlemen, he knows what he's doing. He knows how to stroke that thing. So I look forward to watching you play, continue to be a leader, and just, you know, keep grinding off of this momentum that you guys have established for yourself. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Anytime, brother. Thank you, Lars. We wish you the best of luck for the rest of the season. This upcoming weekend, the Bears are in full swing with events on and off campus. With some matches including softball and tennis being canceled, we should look out for those to be rescheduled. The women's lacrosse team will host a conference matchup against Bryn Mawr at noon. Men's and women's tennis will host a conference matchup against Gettysburg at 1, trying to continue both of their winning streaks. The softball team will play four games at Salisbury between Saturday and Sunday. On Saturday, the team will play at 1 and 3, while on Sunday they will play at 11 and 3. Alyssa DeLorme will represent her sinus as she travels to Ithaca College to compete in the NCGA Championship. Best of luck to Alyssa and all Bears competing this weekend. And now we are heading to our very own Aaron Diamond's brand new segment. Take it away, Aaron. Welcome Bears fans. My name is Aaron Diamond and I am very excited to present a new segment called ADOT's Diamond 5. In this segment, I will be covering her sinus athletics games and matches from the past week. And of course, it's the top five players. So enough of the small talk, let's get it popping. At play number five, we have Steven Schoenborn with a goal for the men's lacrosse team. As you can see, that this team has great ball movement, uh, great chemistry on the field. Um, and 
as you can see, Steven just has a heater of a ball, excuse me, sir, right to the bucket. And he nearly rips the net off of the post. So it doesn't get any better than that. Uh, good job, Steve. At play number four, we have Dylan Kramers. Uh, this is his first collegiate home run, so congrats on that, my boy. This isn't his first uh, production or impact on the season, though. Uh, with, he's been hot all season, 21 hits at bat on 58 bats, and 13 RBIs, uh, setting an impressive average of 342. Uh, just makes you wonder the, how, how good he's really about to be with this team. And, where they're headed. Uh, at number three, we have Maeve Leonzi with the Women's Lex uh, team. They have a great program set up for themselves and she just makes a heck of a play getting through the lane and squeezing it in. Good job, yep, celebrate with the team. Yep, clap it up, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Coming in at play number two, we have Casey Murphy with the men's baseball team with an immaculate day on the rubber. Casey had one of his best collegiate showings, striking out 14 batters in only seven innings. Ladies and gentlemen, not one. Listen, I'll tell you again, not two. Hold on. Are you watching? Not three. I, I can't even stress this enough. Is there, is there, there, there's definitely another one. Not four, but 14. It doesn't get any better than that. I, I can't. I know his parents are proud, and I know the team is even prouder. You know, congrats to you, Casey. Like, you only allowed, what, two runs and nine hits? This man wanted all the smoke with the Lions offense. So watch out, because if I was out there swinging, I would have walked off, walked off the plate immediately. So just enjoy. I'm, I'm done talking. And now, for play number one, we have Tyler Neal with the men's lax. Stepping through that lane, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, airborne. That is a bucket. Get hype, my boy, get hype. Listen, you know, he, he impressed not only me, but the whole crowd. I know they were going crazy. And now, back to you guys in the studio. This is Aaron Diamond with a new segment of ADOT's Diamond 5. Tune in next week, because I'll definitely be here. See you later. Thanks, Aaron, for that absolutely electric content. I can't wait to see what you have in store for us next week. Now that just about wraps up everything we have here for this episode of Sports on Main. Before we go, I would like to thank you all so much for tuning in and to give a friendly reminder to follow all of our social medias, and the links for those are in the description below. Thanks again, and tune in next week for our episode with anchors Aaron Devine and Maddie Wilson. From all of us here at Asinus College Sports Network, I'm Steve Weissman. And I'm James Schuld. And as always, Go, Go Bears. Bears! We present to you, Sports on Main. No. Yeah, and I'm fixing my hair. Your face. <laughs>